Taurus, is it you that doesn't want to apologize or is it you that's just not accepting an apology from somebody? Is it a Pisces person with this page of cups, hangman energy, Pisces energy with that hangman major arcana? Or are you not accepting this apology because you're not talking to this person anymore with this king of swords energy, Libra energy? Taurus, drop this person's sign in the comment section. If you're a cross watcher, drop your sign. Let me know where you're from. You got a lot going on here, Taurus. I had to, you know, light some sage. It was getting heavy already. It's If you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, check out those videos. It's a lot of major changes. Seven of Cups. Ooh. You're not accepting somebody's apology about these other options that they had. Maybe you're feeling like somebody chose somebody over you. Was choosing you as an option here, leaving you behind. Ooh. And with this world card, Taurus, closing out some cycles here, letting go of things, persons, places, and things that are no longer serving you. And you're not talking to somebody with this King of Swords. Five of Cups, regret, heartbreak here. Is this because somebody was gossiping about you, Taurus, kissing and telling? Or is it just that this relationship has run its course? Because somebody had other options here and was treating you as an option. Maybe they were tempted by something here going on here. But this is you getting ready to close out a cycle and you know it. You know with this five of cups being clarified by this five of sword. Ooh, Taurus. For some of you folks, you guys are not talking to this person right now. Because you know it's over. Because you know that this relationship, whether this is work, family, love related, is over. There may be, not be any fixing it. Maybe because somebody doesn't want to apologize here. Or maybe it's because whatever they did was just too much. Maybe they left you hanging here, left you out to dry, strung you out, up and out to dry. What is this with this hangman? But this... Is some type of clarity, new perspective here on this situation. Maybe it's the type of apology that they came with. Maybe it was empty and you were really hurt, feeling betrayed by this particular situation and it led to a verbal falling out. And that's why you're not speaking. Because whatever was said here, for some of you, you know it was the last time that you're going to speak to them. It was, it was a major falling out here. Maybe it was supposed to be an apology, but it's just, maybe it just made things even worse. And with this magician... Clarifying this hangman energy, two major arcanas right next to each other. Letting go of things. You're not speaking to this person due to manipulation. Somebody being deceptive here about these other options. Ooh, this is messy, Taurus. What in the hell's going on here? Okay, maybe taking advantage of other opportunities here, new passions. Ooh, this is third party energies. You did not want to hear no apology about this third party because it's not the first time with this options. This is not the first go round with this world seven of cups energy. And that's why you're leveling up and getting ready to cut somebody off here, cut somebody out here and cutting communication about their shady ways. Seven of swords, ghosting energy. So this is somebody who likes to throw stones or coconuts here and hide their hands with the seven of swords. This is shady energy. This is hiding, hiding things. Like I said, ghosting, not wanting to talk about certain issues, just completely Exiting stage left because they were called out and that apology wasn't doing it. You could be dealing with an Aries or another Taurus person here with this emperor, but this is also husband, father of your children vibes, um, the divine masculine. This is also ego and control. So it could be that this person likes to keep a lot of options around them due to their ego lying to stay in control of this, these things, but now that you know, you're ready, you're ready to go. You're ready to let this thing go with this Pisces energy, hangman energy. And it could be that this new moon reveals this, this situation to you. That all these things are revealed during this new moon energy. And maybe that's when they come with this apology. Check out my full moon in Pisces reading. I'll uh, put that down in the description box. But these, these, e this ego that you're having to carry, these control issues, you're carrying all this. You're carrying the burdens of all this, the fallout with this Ten of Wands. And this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. You find out about these other options here. So whether, again, whether this is work, family, love related, this is somebody getting in your business, talking too much, picking, over pe pe picking people over you, being cliquish, 
okay, as well as third-party situations, talking about how they're going to give you certain things but really not giving it to you. This is like gaslighting, breadcrumbing energy with that seven, seven of cups, but also deception and illusion. Putting things out there, making it seem like you had a lot of choices, but you really didn't. Again, carrying this relationship, queen of wands. This person needs a lot of attention. They need all eyes on them at all times. But this is also a card when I see this with all these options here. And this third party energy, this ghosting, somebody not wanting to clean up what they got going on here. This is mistress energy. So this is third party situations. For those of you in love, there's a third party. And that's this person trying to come back with a weak apology. And they're really not sorry. And you really can't, you can't accept this apology, number one. You're not willing to forgive this, this go round. Everything's upside down. They're insincere here. And this hangman energy is you finding the clarity in this. That you, now you realize. This verbal falling out was really the end. Ten of cups underneath that. Okay, this verbal falling out, some of y'all know it was the last time you were going to be speaking. Whether it was before you rolled up to the conversation, during or right after, it's it's the end for a lot of you. And even if you, oh, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn person here, Taurus, check out that Capricorn reading because this showed up for them and you. But this is you closing out this self-sabotage here. This, you've done this before with this person. This cheating, this third-party energy, this doing things, maybe commit commitment, signing contracts behind your back with the Seven of Swords also, needing all this attention and leaving you out, maybe having this love situation going on behind your back here. Oh, is there hidden children with this Ten of Cups? Somebody loving on somebody behind your back, closing out the cycle. We have two tens here with the Wheel of Fortune and this Ten of Cups. Again, we have that Mercury retrograde coming up and that Pisces moon. Your emotions are going to be going crazy. Keep that, keep those things in check. Check out the other reading. But with this devil card energy, you could be dealing with a Capricorn person. But this is you breaking out of this self-sabotage. It could be that this person has addiction issues here. And that's these things. This, this could be that this person has a whole other lives going on here in the background. You don't know exactly what the hell is going on here. Back to that magician in reverse deception, illusion, somebody pulling the strings, could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Ooh. But this death card symbolizing transition, transformation, and it could be an ending to these self-sabotaging cycles, this cycle with this person and this lack of trust here, this lack of being able to trust the information that they're giving you, Libra energy here, about these third parties, three of cups. Love, emotions, Reuniting with people behind your back. This is their... You knew it. Even if this person didn't admit to what was going on here, you knew from how they were talking what was really going on here. That they really had something going on with somebody else behind your back. Third party situations. And it may not have just been one other person. It could have been several other persons. You might find yourself in an octagon. You might, not, you might just be finding out you're in a poly relationship. Wow, did you know that? And with this Four of Pentacles, this is uprooting the foundation of your relationship here with this person, with this family member, with this workplace, giving your position to other people here and acting like they weren't offering it to you. Again, throwing stones and hiding their hands, trying to make you look like a fool. But this is you exiting stage left and not giving a damn about it. Okay, Taurus? This is you doing what's best for you with this Fool card energy. Walking away from the situation that's no longer serving you. Again, this Pisces magician energy because this person is being manipulative here. There's nothing left. There's nothing left for you to talk about. The fool is them. And with this two of wands, they, they were thinking that you were going to hold on to this due to the emotions, the chemistry that you have with them. It's Virgo season right now. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It could be a Virgo or a fire sign that's being a damn fool here. But this is you being at a crossroads here. And even though you don't want to walk away, Virgo, excuse me, not Virgo, Taurus, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You have a lot of anxiety about this, about the fallout, because this person needs a lot of attention here about what they may or may not be saying here. But you know that you're solid, that you gave this the golden try, and you know that your reputation is going to stand up to whatever this person's going to be saying and being messy about. Okay, this person's immature and love and passions. So while they're good and bad, and it's good when it's good, when it's bad, it's terrible. And they're going to be wanting to come back here with the Six of Cups, Justice Energy here in reverse. Some of you guys are married, and this is going to be a divorce situation. 
some of you guys, this is just going to be a major pulling away about because they're, they, for some of y'all, they were talking about marriage with this other person, even though they're locked into something with you with this justice energy in reverse. And so you, some of y'all are going to set them free here because this selfish individual here with this nine of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, Taurus, this is selfish energy. This is somebody wanting to have their cake and eat it too. And they don't want to talk about it. So that's why you're not wanting to talk to them. King of Pentacles, Taurus, this is you. You can be stubborn too. You can be selfish too. And that's you doing just this. Again, two kings here. That queen of wands energy, third party vibes. Could be dealing with a Leo here. But this is you getting the victory, the win in court, honey. Oh, they better get it right. Get it tight with these contracts. This is immature communication. This person is a liar also. And this nine of wands, you're battered and bruised and done with it. Coming up with a plan here with this eight of pentacles. More earth energy, Taurus. Coming up with a plan here to exit stage left. To leave this situation here. To get your pentacles in order for you to leave. Taurus energy. You. You are. There's the only missed opportunity is the missed opportunity with you for them. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Again here we have the devil and the Queen of Pentacles for this Capricorn child. You may have children with them. They may have been breeding like rabbits with other people here. And that's what's causing you to leave. That may be the straw that broke the camel's back. What was this betrayal? What was the sign of this person you were dealing with here? But it's time for you to exit stage left here. And while you love this person, you thought you were going to grow old with them. This could be, again, this could have been your soulmate here, your other half. This Pisces moon is doing the most. The moon here. Bringing out these miscommunications, these lies. These deceptions here, these things you didn't want to see, you refusing, you were trying to refuse not to see these things. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra season coming, Pisces, Moon, Taurus. You're going through some changes. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what resonated for you down in the comment section. Please leave your sign, the sign of the other person. If you're a cross watcher, let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, find me on Instagram, and I'll be checking in with you soon, Taurus. Keep it real.